Ooh, violence and grotesque imagery. Player discretion is advised. Well, no one's here. I guess I mean discretion as in I can choose to play it or not. Extermination 2005. That was the future at one point. Antarctic mission for the Marine Special Forces Recon. Don't let your guard down. Follow your training and you'll make it back alive. Wart Stewart. Super five. Go out there and show the world what Marines are made of. Yes, sir! Our mission code name is Cold Limit. Check the mission data on your wireless terminals. <laughs> yes, sir! Dennis, I know what you're thinking. I can't stop you from living in the past. This dialogue is amazing. But just remember one thing. Be strong. That's all. An old teacher once told me, life is full of pain and suffering. You have to be strong to deal with it. <laughs> oh, it's, it froze. Oh, no, but didn't. Dennis, <laughs> don't let it distract you. If I see Cindy, then she's in trouble. I'll Dude, you're on an airplane that's her. suffering from turbulence. Keep the it's knife the away from your face. <laughs> for Andrew. We made these knives for our success in Cambodia. You, me, and Andrew. God, not only is the it's acting so terrible, the dialogue it's itself it's is garbage. Get, oh, yeah, I'm skipping over this shit. <laughs> Can't have this going on forever. Uh, it's the same fucking thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dennis here. This is Roger. Where are you? Look up. There's a ventilation shaft up here. It should lead into the compound. You need to get up here. Come on. This icy cliff looks impossible. You'll have to find a way around it. Just follow my directions. First, activate the elevator. Got it. I need to go up. Activate the elevator. Oh, I couldn't figure that out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you need to activate things using a battery pack that he's carrying around on his hip. And then you can recharge it at, like, terminals or whatever. It's sort of like a weird key system that they have in this game. So I remember there was a fair amount of hype surrounding this game before the PlayStation 2 released. But the game itself... To ah, shit. I missed Whatever that was, I'm sure I wanted it. <laughs> hey, a map. Bef uh, before the PlayStation 2 released, there was a fair amount of hype surrounding this game because, you know, the Resident Evil series and, to a lesser extent, Silent Hill and all that were big popular games because, like, you know, survival horror was all the rage back then. And this was during an era where, like, oh, well, there was Resident Evil Code Veronica on the Dreamcast, but it didn't come out for the PlayStation 2 for a little while after that. Didn't come out for the PlayStation 2 for a little while after that. Uh, what? Yeah, um, alright. So, there weren't really any survival horror games lined up for the PlayStation 2, but, you know... Ex From there, walk extermination. The gas pipe to the other side. Yeah, I get Just it. Just like the way we did it in training, huh? <laughs> you said it. 
Okay, yeah, now hurry, up. hurry up. You have to find Cindy. We have to get inside ASAP. I'm freezing my ass off waiting for you. Be careful. One false step and you'll be in big trouble. They won't find your body till the poles melt. <laughs> Thanks. After you cross the pipes. Oh uh, my god, dude. Shut up. <laughs> So there weren't any, there weren't any survival horror games lined up for the PlayStation 2 except for Extermination, and it got a fair amount of hype for that. It was like, oh well, this is going to be, this is going to be PlayStation's answer to uh, Resident Evil, and I think it might have been a second-party game, whatever this um, Deep Six or whatever the hell the developer was called. It was either a Sony studio or one where they were contracted to make this game. But anyway, this was an exclusive game for the PlayStation. Uh, I mean, I can't take it. Okay. This was an exclusive game for the PlayStation 2. But I think it suffered from delays... And as and the game kind of looked rather impressive when it was initially debuted because you know next generation and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump that crevice. Yes. How do I do that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> As the, yeah, as the game got closer to release, though, it started to look less impressive. Like, it just didn't look good. This the ventilation shaft? While I was waiting, I was watching how this fan works. It spins for three seconds and stops for two seconds. But with the inertia, it's only clear for one second. Timing needs to be perfect. You'd better go ahead. Me first, huh? I'll go once you're safely in. You're good at this kind of stuff, aren't you? What you do is you jam something into the blades while it stops so the fan can't start. That's how you deal with a situation like that. You don't just get yourself chopped a bit. You sure this is the right way? Trust me! Oh, you should be dead. Train tracks. Did they tell you anything about this place? No. This place looks like a battlefield. What the hell? This looks bad. Just doesn't feel right. Your instincts are still sharp, huh? It's kept me alive so far. Let's look around. There may be some Dude, survivors. If you fire the gun like that, you're gonna hit yourself in the face. Let's Not even like hip firing. It's like from We'll start here. Cover firing me. from the groin. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, that was a shitty lock. Use a knife to take a padlock off of a door? No one here. I'll take a look around. You check out the corridor. Okay. So, one of the things about this that separated it from the Resident Evil games, I guess Code Veronica was in 3D. Most of the Resident Evil games before had been these 2D games that had static backgrounds and 3D characters. Code Veronica comes out and I'm not going to save because I'm not going to continue playing this. <laughs> Once I die, it's over with. Code Veronica comes out and it has 3D environments. But the camera still operated in much the same static way that it existed in earlier games in the series. This, on the other hand, straight up all kinds of 3D. Look at this shit. Although it doesn't have, like proper camera controls, the way you'd expect a modern game to work. The... you can, like, center the camera by pointing your gun. 
And it works well enough. I mean, it's a little frustrating. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, what the f... Great. Why is there a fucking fort in uh, Antarctica? There shouldn't be. There are like treaties and stuff to prevent that from happening. It's a weird place to put a door. See, the controls are a little screwy. I'm uh, tripping over shit. I'm on my way. You're gonna tell me to fucking go the same way that I got here, didn't, aren't you? <laughs> well, anyway. It has this 3D environment, and I'd say, like, you know, for an early PS2 game, it looks alright. People just weren't impressed with it. It didn't do enough right. And the controls are poor enough that it, uh... Any acting... All that, the storyline isn't that great. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That people, it just didn't resonate. I don't think it was a bad game by any means, but it was just not special. What's up? Look, it's a drawbridge. The map shows that the rendezvous point, Building B, is on the other side. We need to lower that drawbridge. We should regroup and find out what's going on as soon as possible. Right. What did you find out? Nothing. <laughs> it's this a door. Been ripped to shreds. Something bad has happened here. We've got to stay sharp. You're right. By the way, the computer is almost fixed. We should be able to open some of the doors now. Can you open the door at the end of the tunnel? It's locked. Yeah, hold on. All right, it should be open now. I'm Dude, you didn't do anything. Lower the drawbridge from here. We need to head to our rendezvous point, Building B, ASAP. Until then, keep up your recon. Okay. Why'd you pronounce it ASAP? Such a facility existed in the South Pole of all places. I know. There's definitely something strange going on here. Fucking weirdo pronounced it ASAP, whereas earlier he pronounced it ASAP. Be consistent. However you want to pronounce it, be consistent. Oh, we got some Metal Gear Solid action going. <laughs> you mean to tell me you guys didn't know anything about where you were going? No one, like, briefed you at all as to where the hell you were going? Okay. So, unlike a lot of other survival horror games... Resident Evil being the obvious example. You don't get a lot of different weapons with this game. You basically you have this one M4 that you start the game with. It's pretty big. Um, and you can upgrade it. SPR4. Uh... Where is suspension harm harness? Like that's something special. You get like you can like attach grenade launchers to it or whatever. Lasers. Well, it already has a laser sight, doesn't it? But you can do all sorts of crap like that to upgrade it. But you don't get other weapons. You also seem to get an. Inf I'm pretty sure you get an infinite supply of ammunition. So, even if you do run out, if you can get back to, like, an ammunition box or something, you can just replenish. So you don't have to worry too much about running out of ammo. Oh, you got a newt problem. This is Dennis. Roger here. Something's down here. I can feel it. Me too. Yeah, you should have been able to see it. If we can get the power back on, I can activate the drawbridge. A circuit breaker is probably out. There should be a transformer room somewhere. Where are you now? 
Hey, me again? <laughs> You're already out here, bro. First you send me through that fan, and now this? Hey, you know me, right? Remember the gorilla fighters in the fields of Cambodia? If I hadn't been there, you'd be... I would have been dead meat, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard enough of that story. Okay, when we get back, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, okay. I'd say maybe one of the big things that makes this game kind of look ugly is the repeating textures, like, along this wall. It's just the same texture over and over again. Now, I mean, the PlayStation 2 didn't have a whole lot of texture memory, avail uh, memory available for textures, but it's still, um... Didn't have a whole lot of memory available for textures, so you did have to um, excuse it a little bit for that, especially in the early PlayStation 2 era. But it did eventually... Did that just hit a loading screen? <laughs> it was eventually the point where developers did figure out how to push the textures further. Really work that... I think it's like 4 megabytes or so was available for texture memory. Which wasn't a lot. What is going on here? Whoa! You're not gonna report this, <laughs> Dennis? <laughs> I think I'd report these weird monsters I'm gunning down. Ah, shit! Shouldn't have done this. <laughs> All right, where do they go? Ah, we're fine. I can't get that through that door until I turn the power on. Oh, there's a dead guy here. Uh, infected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a fairly generous amount of auto-aim here. Like, it's locking on the targets. Which is a good thing, because this game would be in-fucking-possible if I didn't have that. I think maybe I might have played this game a little bit for an episode of First Levels. But, uh... That would have been a couple of years ago, at least. It's feeling a little more familiar with me to me now. Because I know it had been a long time since I had actually just sat down and played through the game properly. Been a while since I would sat down and... Um... Played through the game properly. But it does feel a little bit too familiar for a game that I haven't played in a long time. So I must have done something for this channel. But it definitely didn't... Didn't do, um... Until I die on it. It's fucking die. <laughs> yeah, just took that... <laughs> took that off with a knife swipe. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Does this do it? Power's on here, at least. A sliding device for train maintenance. Yeah. Okay. I should be able to jump from the carriage to the container. Yeah, that seems like a great idea. Why is there not a better way of doing things? <laughs> Now both square and circle do knife attacks. Oh, there's a little attack. Look at this. <laughs> How do I reload? Oh, first person view. I forgot that you could do that. Oh, there's something in here.
There's a leap out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever that said was probably important. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Dennis. Yes, this seems like a good idea. Die, little fuckers. There we go. <laughs> uh, letter about vaccines. I should probably know this if I want to stay alive. The game hasn't really thrown any challenge at me yet, though. Fuel drums, they explode when you shoot them. Thanks. That's exactly what I figured. Now I'm back here. You little shit. Where's your buddy? More health. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Screw it. I don't think I need to kill them. Oh, here we go. Power room. Transistor room. This looks important. Way to go, Dennis. Now we can get to the rendezvous point. Fantastic. We can get to the rendezvous point. How were you able to operate the computer without power before? Oh, the gun just appears in your hand. Can I get through here? Oh no, it looks like I need a security key. Like other survival horror games, there's a lot of backtracking involved in this. So we'll be back in this area, provided I survive long enough. Whoa! Okay. That's something that happened. Can I go? Yes, I can go back in that room. <laughs> and what does that do? Yeah, it's more or less fine. <laughs> Go meet back up with what's his name. Alright, so the guns have been activated. If they see you, they shoot you. So don't get shot. Don't get seen and don't get shot. Dude, calm the fuck down. You gonna hit any of them? That's a big no. Roger! Ah. Well, ah, Dennis! Help me! Dennis!
Roger. Get out of the way! Don't move. I had no choice. I'm with the... Special Marine Forces Recon, I know. You're here to scout the facility, but you're too late. Things are already out of control here. Please listen to what I'm telling you. Get out of here as soon as you can. Tell me, what the hell happened here? What happened to my partner? Wrong place at the wrong time. It wouldn't help even if I told you. Just leave here. This area will be taken over any moment now. Taken by who? Take the... Use it. If you don't want to end up like your friend, the antibodies will temporarily ward off infection. Infection? You'll find the survivors and your friends in Ground Facility Building B. Get to them as soon as you can and go back home! Even a brave Marine needs to know when to run. Hey! Wait! Who are you? What happened here? Tell me! Damn it! Roger. I can't believe this. Alright, so we got a vaccine item. So you can get infected by, uh, get infected by these little fuckers. And that will, uh, you have two health pools essentially to worry about. The health pool of, like, your normal health, and then your infection pool. Why did that happen? So you have to keep track of both, and as infection climbs, you have to do shit to uh, take the vaccine to reduce the infection, as if that's something a vaccine would do. Nope. Let's... Okay. I think you can't just take the vaccine, though. I think you gotta... Uh, is this the ammo storage unit? Okay, so this is what you do to refill your magazine to max. And you can do that as many times as you want, I think. So I, even though I think enemies will respawn, you never have to worry too much about actually running out of ammunition. Just gotta worry about, like running out of ammunition between the places in which you would get more. Don't be wasteful and you'll be fine. Jumps. Oh my god, look how low res texture that guy's got. Look at his neck. Ah! Little fucker. <laughs> I'm sure this button's important. Let me just push it. Okay. The turnstile. Thing just explodes into nothing. The hell?
Things covered in goo. Dude, you have plenty of time to get the fuck out of the way. Like, now. <laughs> Uh, well, that opened up a doorway. <laughs> ah, you little shit. The range for this knife is pathetic. And oftentimes I can't really see where they are, so I gotta kind of. Okay, so I gotta use battery pack for in order to. I need to find a place to recharge my battery. Playing for a half an hour now. That's further than I get in most episodes of this show. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that... Somebody wearing a hazmat suit? Or is it Cindy in disguise? <sighs> Damn, it's locked. Hey, you're that girl from before. I'm trying to get to Building B. How do I get there? You're still here? Use the elevator. Elevator? What elevator? You can reach the ground facility by using that freight elevator. How do I activate it? What's this? It's the security code to unlock this door. Type it into the command center's computer. Then what? I'll give you what you need to operate the elevator. Get to the ground level, find your friends, and get out of here. Hey! So... This idiot. Damn. That's obviously the Cindy that he was referring to earlier. But, uh, how come he doesn't recognize her voice? I mean, seriously. Getting infected. Uh, okay, this didn't do me any good. <laughs> Where, what good does this, can I jump that? No, cannot. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, you little shits. Ah, get out of here. Don't bother fighting them. It's too many. Why was there a button on the side of that forklift to raise the forks? <laughs> what sense does that make? You don't operate forklifts from the side. <sighs> Fuck, this didn't do me any good at all. So I need to operate the conveyor belt in order to operate the conveyor belt in order to get through that door, but I'm going to need to recharge my batteries. I guess this will do it. There we are. This big spool of wire or something.
Try a little harder. I didn't bother reading that. Alpha security card reader. So I need to find an alpha key. Shotgun shells! I don't have... I don't have a shotgun to attach to my M4 here. Look at the, how bad the lighting effects are. You just, it's completely dark until you turn on your, your, uh, ah, you little shit. Until you turn on your light and then the area just gets illuminated and you got a little bit of a cone out there. Silent Hill really did do lighting effects best. I guess Metal Gear Solid 2 did in the limited sections in which um, you did have it. Oh man, this place is getting nasty. Dude, just... Why can't you hold your damn rifle while you're walking? How's that? That looks dangerous. Hello. Am I gonna die if I touch that? No, it just slows you down. <laughs> This is frustrating as fuck, not being able to see. This is worse than playing Doom 3. At least I can move while holding the flashlight. It's actually kind of the opposite. In Doom 3, you held the flashlight or... You held the flashlight or you held your weapon, not both. But you can move, the, you can move while holding the flashlight, but when you pull your weapon out... That's when you can't see anymore. <laughs> this is the opposite. <laughs> I can't see when I'm walking. Roger. Damn it. How could this happen? Clearly this game took a lot of inspiration from John Carpenter's The Thing. With these weird transformations that take place rather rapidly and these tentacle tentacle-covered monstrosities that are a result. Ah, oh, there's a magazine. Alright, so... Every time you find a new magazine, it allows you to increase your maximum ammo. Oh shit! Oh, I made it. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Fuck. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. No. Ah. How come it's not hurting the bugs? What? Get, get off of this. <laughs> Come on, I definitely hit that thing a couple of times. So in John Carpenter's The Thing and not the 
version of the thing from another world that came out years, decades earlier. You had a monster which mimicked humans, but when the... Mimicked humans, but when it came time to like, reveal itself, it turned into these weird tentacly monstrosities that... Uh, were difficult to kill. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Should I have remembered what she said? Son of a bitch. Do I gotta go back? <laughs> Do I have to go back? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm gonna cheat. Give me a minute. All right, I've cheated. Looked it up. I definitely uh, expected him to just type the code in his damn self when we got here. <laughs> All right, so I guess I have to go. Infection 70%. Oh, I'm going to fucking die unless I do something. So where do... Alright, so inspection's down to 50%. And health has been restored. Infections are what I, what I have to pay more attention to. Oh, there's something on the... Dog tag, huh? I guess the dog tags are kind of a collectathon item kind of thing where you would yeah it's like a mini game ish thing sort of like the dog tags in Metal Gear Solid 2 you can collect them if you want but you don't need them that's my assumption anyway I don't know I don't remember all right dude see if you can swing out door looks like it was painted on the wall. Okay, I definitely remember having to use a sort of pod along with the items in order to... Oh, there's a ladder here. In order to... Do I shimmy across this pipe? Is that... Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Use some sort of a pod along with the healing items to remove infection. Although apparently you can do it with some healing items too. I'm going to assume I need to be all the way because I can't see around me at all. This game had a more modern control style where the left, the left stick controlled movement the right stick controlled camera. It would be a shitload more fun. And I would like to be able to see my character during this scene. <laughs> Good thing I remember how to get back. <laughs> he wrote it backwards, too, for us. I know it was easier for her to write it that way, but not for us. Alright, so this was the door I needed to get through. I need... I don't remember how to recharge battery. 
And that's what I need to do. Oh, look at this place. Shotgun shells. Does me no good. See, I got nothing here. So, you got out okay. It was you, Cindy? You couldn't fucking tell? I've been worried about you. I haven't been able to contact you ever since that day. Dennis, is it really just a coincidence that you're here? Regardless, I don't have anything left to say to you. Just leave me alone. I knew you were here before I came. I was concerned for your safety. Don't you realize what you did? I'm telling you, I have nothing more to say. Cindy, bring a fucking this name is no tag. Kind of <laughs> Let's talk about that later. What on earth happened to this place? What's going on down here? Why did the military send your team in instead of just bombing this place? Don't they know what's going on here? Even brave soldiers like you won't be able to get this situation under control. The Pentagon misjudged this one. How do these monsters fit in? This could be the beginning of the end of the world as we know it. The worst scenario that mankind has ever faced just began. There will be no future for us if we don't act. Hurry up and get to Ground Facility Building B. Go back home with your friends and tell your military that their dirty little plan has become a nightmare. This facility needs to be completely wiped out. What about you? I still have something to finish here. Let me give you this. Use it to activate the underground storage elevator. The elevator will take you to ground level. Now go. If you want to find the rest of your team, Dennis. About Roger. I'm sorry. I... I know. It doesn't seem real. Cindy, I'll wait for you to make it safely back to Building B. Yeah, okay. Fine, I got that keycard alpha. Ah, there we go. So we got the shotgun selector. So we can fire shotgun now. I don't I don't remember how to switch. I don't remember how to switch firing mode to shotgun. Uh, okay, so single fire, multi fire. I'm gonna keep it on single fire. Tactical grip with a flashlight or the shotgun. Got nothing for up here. All right, so we got our key card. Was she just hiding in this room? There's no out. There's no way out of here. The shotgun isn't necessary, really, for the enemies that we've been facing so far. More powerful ones will show up, though. Like I have a feeling we're got to see one. Yep, there we go. Mickey, work. God, the shit control scheme in this game is really a frustration right now. God damn it, some of you die. Hey, there's a, uh... Dude, you can't climb over this. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> it's happening. Leave 
Leave me alone. <laughs> Two for one. Yeah, sure. Cannot be used now. Alright, I think I'm getting the hang of killing these things. Are there any more? Where did that big guy go? He didn't follow me down here. Ah, what? Oh. Can't you go down faster than that? Alright, I don't see the monster anymore. He must have wandered off. Oh, no, there he is. Just casually press the button and ride the elevator away. What the hell? I guess he came down with us. How do I fire the shotgun again? I don't remember. I guess maybe I just push a different button. Oh, okay. X. X changes the fire mode. Alright, I need to... I'm gonna die real soon if I don't, um... Get this infection under control. Excellent! A perfect shot of our what hero who destroyed fuck are you? the monster. I ain't destroy shit. You're from Special Forces, right? You came to destroy this facility. I'm Travis Miller, freelance journalist. Uh, I've been investigating this facility for five years. Something suspicious about this place. I finally managed to sneak in, and all of a sudden, I I'm in a horror movie. What the hell happened here? Answer me. They didn't tell you anything? There was an accident here. A big one. An accident? What kind? They lost control of something they were researching here. Probably some bioweapon. I'm going to ground facility building B. How do I get there from here? Oh, that's where your friends are, huh? This could be another chance for a big scoop. Are you gonna tell me or not? Hey, take it easy. Go out into the snowfield and look for the bright lights. They look like stadium lights. You can't miss them. The building under the light without an awning is building B. But find the control room first. And you also might want to hang on to this. Now, if you don't mind, I'll keep looking around. I'm going to get the story of the century here. Not a chance in hell you're going to survive this. <laughs> and I do not remember that guy at all. <laughs> Who the hell was that? I got a phone and fax number. Oh, he's just standing around. Ammunition? I didn't get any. <laughs> Why is the default option no? When am I ever going to not want to get more ammunition? It takes this idiot forever to press any buttons. Oh shit, I'm outside. Get back in there. 
I'm not done investigating. I'm, I'm hoping that I can find something to help me recharge the battery. Um, this is just a save station, isn't it? And I need battery power. All right, screw it. I I get it that I can look into the documentation and figure it out. That's what it's for. But I'd rather just muddle through this like an idiot. Why would you go through the effort of building all of this? Maps, maps everywhere. Dog tag? A frozen corpse? This is First Lieutenant Matt Shugart? He's holding a battery operated detonator. What was he planning to do with this? Blow something up. What the hell else would he do? Yeah, okay. Ah shit. I need to I do need electric power though. So, I do need to go and recharge the battery somehow, or else I can't proceed. I gotta blow this thing up. Um... Alright, let me... Database. Security lockdown, shortest route rally, putting job, bitch. Run B. Slide rail, ammo storage, files. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I know there's some kind of a terminal they just activate in order to recharge the battery. And maybe that thing on the floor is it. Oh, look, a jacket. Oh, all right. So you equip that? I guess snow. <laughs> Crowbar. Yeah, we go. I know it's a way of gating your progression, so it slows you down a little bit instead of just having everything immediately open. Should I go outside and blow that thing up, or should I go down here? They're trying to gate my progression by... Slowing me down, making me have to explore a little bit more, run back and forth, pick up more ammo, run back and forth, pick up battery power, all that kind of stuff. But it does feel a little bit of a frustration, frustrating if you don't... Okay. <laughs> ah! Alright, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I already got ammo. Get off me, you little shit. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dead. I guess I'm dead. How do I... I think I have, a, a, like, a set amount of time to get to one of those healing stations, but I don't remember where any of them are. <laughs> Which is, let's be honest, that's something of a problem. What do we got here? Flamethrower, huh? It's a shame I won't live long enough to use that. 
Okay, maybe I can... Do I have one of... Partially... Replenishing health doesn't help. Because I'm infected. I need to find a healing station. Or it's all over. And I could look up a guide to find out where one is, like I looked up a guide to figure code was. But I'm a selective cheater. <laughs> Fort Stewart, main compound. It feels like there'd be one in here. Like, this is a save room. That other room's a save room, isn't it? Yeah, you're okay. Quit being a little bitch. You know what? Maybe on the other side of this is where I need to find the, uh... Because I... I vaguely recall there being a healing room back in, like, a much earlier part of the game. But I'm not making it there. First Lieutenant Max Shuka. Yeah, 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 I get it. He's holding a battery-operated detonator. Get away. Blow up. Yeah, you're fine, right? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Did it kill me? Oh, no, it didn't. I gotta go back up there? I wonder if there's, like, a countdown I can see to how much time I have. Fuck! <laughs> Talk about a waste of time when I don't have time to waste. Remember, center your camera so you can see where you're going. Sound too good. You yeah. okay? Don't worry, you'll be all right. As long as there's like a vaccine thing in here. Nope, that didn't do me any good. Whoa, shit! Up, oh, it's sort of invisible. Not really, though. And I'm dead. Turned into a monster and just fell over dead instead of attacking people. An hour and three minutes. Further than I expected to make out of a game I didn't remember how to play. <laughs> there we go.